Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to talk a new solution for having a transform gizmo such as transform uh, position, transform rotation, and transform scale with the uh, Unity default gizmos uh, in runtime for any objects we have in the scene. Okay. First, I want to uh, show you the plugin which is for runtime uh, Unity 3D runtime transform gizmo in the Hidden Monkey on GitHub. You can uh, I will share this link uh, in the description of this video. You just need to download the plugin and add this folder to your project folder. Here we will have this uh, project folder. And I've added this uh, plugin completely into my scene, into my project, and it already has uh, an empty scene which has just a cube. But uh, in this example, you will see transform gizmo camera. As you can see, it is just a simple camera, but this camera has this important. Uh, a script component to transform gizmo as you can see it is for just transfer movement or global or local you can change the space to global or local or in, these are the shortcuts of uh, enable uh, uh, switching between modes on scale rotation and uh, position and it has uh, for example, the different colors for each one and the uh, scale snap here, the handle links, it is truly complete and you can modify your um, transform gizmo with any parameter you want. Just you need to assure that uh, those objects you want to modify transform of them uh, has, have to be, uh, needs to have a uh, Collider, box collider, sphere collider, capsule collider, whatever. It doesn't matter is the trigger on or off. What matter is it's uh, supposed to as collider. For example, I play the scene. Okay, I click on here. Something like this. Excellent. I press E something exactly like unity I press R excellent that's it if I add a new sphere and set the position zero 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 okay by default because I didn't I, I uh, didn't remove the sphere collider Look at this, it works. But if I remove it, it doesn't work. Look at this, it's not clickable, but it's clickable because it has collide. Okay, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.